Yep, so I got out of Minnesota. I'm sorry, Michigan. I was in Michigan last. And I got down here to Oklahoma. This is uh, northeast Oklahoma. And I found some property and I went ahead and bought it. Need some work. I've gotten started already. You can see my, my flag starts there. So my property goes down about 30 feet past my car. I started cutting down the trees. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to have a bulldozer come in and level everything out. Because you can see these rolling hills. This is what I got. You can see how it's humped in the middle there. So he's going to take all this material and push it out over this way. So I'm trying to cut all these trees down. And there's a lot of trees. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Yeah, I do have a few neighbors, but they're all doing the same thing as myself. Um, down the road, there's a couple of people cutting trees down, getting ready to build a little cabin. Same as what I'm going to do here. It's kind of an odd community around here. There are people with um, a tiny store down the road. Kind of a commune thing going on where they have a few families living there. And there's uh, another one. You know, um, the opposite direction down for me that there's like three families living on three plots and you know some kids are homeschooling and uh, I know one husband and wife are both nurses at the hospital but it's a nice place it'll be beautiful in the summer and the winters aren't too bad so far I've just been cutting down the small trees to try to clear out the underbrush kind of to uh, be able to take down the bigger trees. And there's a few, I might call a lance, um, a tree service to come in and take down. There are three heavy leaners, like that one right there. You can kind of see it right there, heavy leaners like that. And I got an oak tree that's the whole core is rotted out of it. Apparently that's something that goes on with the oak trees in this area. <clears throat> so I actually thought about seeing if it's, there's enough here for a, um, somebody to come up and cut them down and buy them, but they're all have rotten cores and they're not worth much. So I've got set up with my pup up. I tarp the ends just for a little extra protection and a little extra layer for heat. So it's going pretty good so far. So we're down at the other end. And so I've just been cutting down the smallest trees. I'm gonna save some of the firewood. And I already started a compost pile of leaves for the future garden. So yeah, you can see a little better down here. You can see my trees I've cut out, all the, all the little stumps I'm leaving for the bulldozer to push over. So just clearing all those out so I can get these larger trees out. But yeah, yeah, you can see that oak tree right over there. Now the core is just completely rotted out of the middle. That is not something I want to mess with. My chainsaw skills are uh, pretty pretty new to start with, so worrying about things like this tree here, like I was showing the heavy leaners that can uh, barber chair, and that that oak tree could just completely collapse in the middle of cutting it. But it's starting to open up, starting to get a little feel a little less overwhelmed by how much the work there is to do here. So the property is just over two and a half acres. So it's just over 300 feet along the road. And it's three and a half miles of dirt roads to get here. So it's, it's a pretty rural area, but about 25, 30 minutes away is a town, two towns about the same distance away that have a good population, good amenities, access to stuff. So my property goes down the hill 
about 300 feet um, and there is a wet weather stream down there I'm told runs about two months a year but that land's pretty useless to me as far as I'm concerned it's really what's up here getting leveled out So that was just a little quick video real quick say I'm alive and I'm out here doing my thing. I may, I don't know, I could end up going to Quartzsite this year or out to Arizona just because it's definitely warmer there. But I want to get this leveled out and be ready to uh, work in the spring. Because I don't plan on building until the prices of lumber come down. That's, I mean right now I've seen prices of seven, eight dollars for a single two by four and that should be like a dollar eighty six. So there's no way I'm just going to spend that kind of money. But this will keep me busy for a while, keep me out of trouble. Hope you're all doing good.